Hello, I'm Ian Scales, you're watching Telecom TV, and I'm joined by Joachim Samuelsson, who is the executive chairman of Crunchfish, which is a Swedish startup. Joachim, welcome. Thank you very much, Ian. Um, start off with Crunchfish. Tell me what Crunchfish does and where it's going. Yes, uh, Crunchfish is sort of an entrepreneurial company. Um, we are focused on mobile technology. Um, we sort of have two technologies, which is quite unusual for a startup. We're pursuing gesture recognition. Uh, that is sort of using your hands almost like a remote control. We can control devices and make that into commands. We have focused that on the new businesses of uh, virtual reality and augmented reality. You know, smart glasses. It's hard to understand how you're going to control that. Their gestures are good for that. We also have a second technology, and that is, you can sort of see that as mobile proximity. Uh, we are digitizing the connection between people and things. Right now, we have been, for 10 years, we've been connected to the World Wide Web using our mobiles. But the mobile device is, um, is inherently mobile. And what's really interesting is if you can have a network following the mobile and connecting with people around that mobile and things as well. So connecting with everybody and everything around it, it's what we are trying to do, building that network. Yeah, because at, at present the mobile has no way of developing a proximity network of its own. No. It can only exist by um, using the, the World Wide Web as an intermediary exactly. between you. You're there and I'm here, yeah. but it has to go all the way up and all the way back again. Yeah, at this IOB conference, it's so many instances I've been standing next to people. You know, they're, they're literally standing a meter mm. away from me. We're both connected to the World Wide Web or the Internet, but we, as simple as thing as, well, okay, do you have a, do you, did you bring a business card? And I say, well, no, I forgot mine. And, and we, but, but this would be so simple if we could just put our phones together, yes. then um, immediately we will have our contact details. But even for that application, I've seen, seen that happening, but... That's one instance where it will be useful to have digitized that proximity between people. Talk about it as a bubble again, because I, I think that clarifies your idea. Yeah, I, we, our product's called a bubble, uh, and, and that is because around a device, you can almost look at it that it's, there is a, a bubble around that device of people in range or things in range. So those people in range and things in range, you could sort of have a connection with uh, that surrounding. Um, and uh, that's a very contextual, it's a very dynamic type of network because it moves with you. Yeah. And uh, that's the next frontier, I think, that mobiles has to conquer. So it creates an ad hoc network yes. between you and the things and the people that are immediately around you Correct. inside the bubble. And, and that can be used as, as, as this, this oral conference was all about, it's sort of about banking and payment. Yes. And, and, and connecting yourself with, say, uh, a point of sale terminal, for instance, that you, you want to make a transaction there. If you get close enough to that point of sale, it's, it's a sort of a, then you, you could be connected there, then that creates simply the proximity, you are really in close proximity. That can kick off, for instance, a payment process. Without technology, you could, you, you know how, it's possible now with these contactless terminals that you can just blip your, your plastic card. Without technology, you can blip your phone instead. So you, you just hold it there. You don't have to fiddle with the phone at all. And if it is a low amount, sort of, uh, then that could be seen as just you know, making that payment. Or that, that is, basically it's the payment. Yes, yes. Yeah. So the terminal device would, would kind of understand what was going on um, in terms of the bubble network and uh, would understand the payment that's being tried to be made. Ta explain what happens next. The way we see it is that it's the, the mobile phone will be pinged by that sort of point of sale place. And then uh, it, if it is you, Ian, then it, it's sort of you, you, this is your device and connected with who sort of woke you up because you got in close proximity. You will send a package up in the cloud uh, over a encrypted uh, IP and at the same time that um, the, um, uh, the cashier or the card reader would, would sort of send uh, that amount uh, and the amount that you're going to pay uh, up as a package as well. And then we pair that up in the cloud and from there we can sort of start the payment process. So it's a different way of triggering the payment off, yeah, isn't well, it? Yeah, and, 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 and that's all that, that's needed if it's a low amount. If, if it is a higher amount and, and you would like to acknowledge that I'm willing to pay, then that 
That could be either made on the card reader, so you are putting in your pin there as if you were using a plastic card. You're not. And, and the beauty with that transaction is that is you don't have to fiddle with your phone at all. It just comes in close proximity and then you're acknowledging that payment that you see on the card reader by just entering, entering sort of the pin. The alternative is that you would acknowledge it using your phone and there you can maybe use a pin or some biometric sort of uh, maybe your thumb or maybe face recognition, it doesn't matter. But, but it, so that's up to the application provider. Because Crunchfish, we, we develop technology. We don't develop the application. We insert our technology into other people's applications. So they decide on how they want to build their, uh, their application. So how far have you got with, your, with the technology on, on, the, uh, on the proximity side of things? Well, well, the technology is ready and it's, it's out there in the market. Uh, I, I think a prime example is um, a, a, a Swedish startup. Uh, they're called uh, Pay, uh, spelt in the Swedish way, P-E-J. And they're using it in uh, restaurants and cafes. But I think the most use, interesting use case is for arenas. Uh, arenas is sort of holding 10,000 spectators. In Sweden, we have sort of uh, hockey games, uh, a lot of loud people. and. At these games, there are 15-minute intervals. All sale have to happen there. Uh, and it has to go quickly, because otherwise people will be sort of, they won't, it's not worth it to go out there because the long lines are preventing them. But with our tech, what's possible to do is that the payment itself could just be a tap on, on, the, uh, on the counter there. And then when you're up there, you, that's when you have paid. But what we can do if we backtrack from there, when you start approaching the counter that you have chosen when you saw the lines, you, you're standing in a particular queue, our technology will, will communicate with your phone because you're in proximity of that counter. And the system will then understand that you are in proximity. It will go up in the cloud, find the order that you ordered two beers and two sausages, and they can put that on a tray. So when you come up to the, uh, to the counter, the tray is ready with your, your merchandise that you want to buy and you pay with a tap. Because then we have speeded up both the handling of the merchandise as well as the, uh, the payment mm -hmm. itself. And that's key. That's really key in an uh, arena environment where they really would like as many people as possible to do all this, you know, get all their beers or whatever they want in 15 minutes. Because then everybody's back to the game again. So in that sort of very demanding environment, we have uh, this startup that have sort of uh, got into, yeah, in Malmö Arena, that's sort of in our, where we come from, but they also got the Swedish National Arena recently as well. So they, this is spreading because they appreciate sort of the uh, fastness uh, of this proximity technology that we are, yeah, that we have inserted into their beautiful app. Okay, Joachim, thank you very much. It's very interesting. Thank you very much.